Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 5th of September, the local media headlined today. One man has died and another is missing after they were swept into the sea while fishing at Treonan Bay near Padstow. Pirate FM and Radio Cornwall both report that the men were knocked into the water when they were hit by a big wave. The health watchdog, the Care Quality Commission, has issued a formal warning notice to the Royal Cornwall Hospital Trust, saying it needs to make urgent improvements. Cornwall Reports says the CQC found there are not enough hospital staff and unacceptable waiting lists for patients, which are among the areas which are the focus of staff meetings this week. The Falmouth Packet also has that story. The CQC has given hospital managers until the end of November to make the necessary improvements. Cornwall Live reports a protest outside the Falmouth branch of McDonald's. It was staged by members of the local Labour Party in solidarity with a national dispute over pay and conditions. The Cornish Times has been catching up with Sunday's floods. North and South East Cornwall were among the areas worst affected. The Cornish and Devon Post celebrates the success of Launceston's first Lego club at the town's library. And finally, Cornwall Reports is encouraging everyone in Cornwall to click their way to victory in a bid for community funding to help a local playing field. The St Judy playing field is hoping to win a £25,000 prize from the One Family Foundation. The deadline for clicking to register your vote is 12 noon tomorrow. And that Cornwall Reports story includes a link to the One Foundation website, so do it now. Those are the local media headlines today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've been watching on social media, please remember to like and share. Better still, though, go to the cornwallreports.co.uk website, get a year's subscription. It works out at less than nine pence a day. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.